Hey guys, I wanted to make a video today to talk about the importance of knowing your pharmacology and looking up medications. I recently had a nurse reach out to me who said that she is so busy on her unit that sometimes she just doesn't have the time to fully look up what a medication is, how it works, the pharmacology behind it and all of that, which I can totally relate to and sympathize with because sometimes you are just so busy that you just want to take shortcuts or cut corners to get caught up. And um, I really just want to make this video not to criticize that nurse because there's been situations where I haven't looked up a medication and I probably should have or I've cut a corner and I'm sure there's situations in which all of you have. But being in the ICU, I really, really truly understand now, even more so, the importance of looking at medications before you give them. And here's a little example for you. I had a patient who was on Levofed, which if you don't know what Levofed is, it is uh, also called norepinephrine. It's a cardiac drip that helps raise blood pressure. And this patient that was on this drip um, also was still had blood pressure meds ordered to keep their blood pressure down. They're on this medication called Prezosin, which I hadn't heard before or it just was unfamiliar to me. And I, when I took it out of the Pixis, I was like, hmm, I wonder what this is. And before I went to go give it, I looked it up and realized that it's a medication to lower the blood pressure. It's also called Mini Press, which that name gives it away a little bit more than Prezosin. But I held that medication because if we have a patient on a med on a drip to keep their blood pressure up, why would I give them an oral medication that would contradict that and bring their blood pressure down? So that is just a little example, but there's tons of examples, but that just stresses the importance of looking at medications before you give them. Even if you are so busy, at least look up just a general description of what it is. Like, is it treating blood pressure? Is it a diuretic? Is it an antiarrhythmic? Is it a medicine for pain control? You really just need to know at least that. You don't have to look up all six to ten pages of how the medication actually works and the pharmacokinetics of it and all of that. You can save that to do that at a time when you're not busy or when you go home after work, whatever, but you should at least have a general idea of what the medication is, especially if a patient asks you, like, why are you giving this to me? You need to know why you're giving that medication. The only exceptions to this is if you are in an emergent situation where maybe you're pushing meds that the doctors order, but the doctor is at the bedside ordering those medications, then um, that would be the only exception. But if again, if you're not sure what a med is, then you probably shouldn't maybe have someone else give it or um, if you have time to look it up, look it up. But for sure, when you're passing your normal meds or your PRNs, look up the medication. I appreciate the nurse who messaged me this and was just completely honest. And I don't want this video to come off as a lecture or um, anything negative towards this nurse because we all have done it. We all have given a medication where we have not looked it up or maybe we thought it was another thing and it was actually something else because medications have such similar names. But with that, I want to thank you for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.